Every year, Jim Beheim and his Syracuse basketball squad invite Fort Drum to bring a group of soldiers to practice. Oh, it's a great opportunity. Uh, a team atmosphere is great because you learn different things, you learn how to communicate. I think the biggest thing about this is learning how to communicate with each other effectively. It's an annual tradition that has been occurring for about a decade. We all had different uh, scenarios, uh, different environments, but it's all about what you learn from those different environments. So this is basketball, but you can take what you learn in basketball and you can apply it to life. So you can, like we do, we're going to sit here and learn today, and we can apply it when we can take it back and go back to uh, our base. These soldiers and players have more in common than you think. Most of our soldiers you'll find grew up playing team sports, and that's one of the appealing things to join in the Army because you become, you know, America's team, and we look at it as an all-star team. But um, so everything that, you know, like Coach Beheim talks about in, uh, in terms of discipline and cohesion, uh, those are the same fundamentals that, that we work at in the Army because we work as teams, whether it's a, a four-man fire team or a 4,300-man uh, brigade combat team. From the football program visiting Fort Drum during training camp to Coach Beheim inviting soldiers to practice annually, Syracuse Athletics and Fort Drum have a long history. Now, the soldiers really enjoy this experience, but it's really the players that learn the most. I'm in here every single day and uh, put in quote unquote hard work. You know, I think we can learn from them that they are the definition of hard work. You know, represent our country and um, the hard work they put in every single day to you know make sure we're safe and uh, to train and you know the stuff they had they have to go through. Uh, and you know, when we miss a shot, we're mad, or when we not when we, when we don't play as much as we want to play, we're mad. But you know, there's nothing compared to what they go through. Anna Connolly, NCC News. Yeah, it's